Welcome to this week's episode of Frybat Friday Beers and Tools with Andy. This week we're trying a Canberra beer, born and brewed in Canberra, Bent's Broke Brewing Company. This is Bent Spokes Crankshaft Cranking IPA. I do like a good IPA. Happy Friday. What do they have to say about it? Mint Spoke Crankshaft IPA is similar to a West Coast IPA with a floral nose. Floral. Notes of citrus and pine. Definitely citrus? Pine? Pine. True story. With an, uh, medium bodied with a nice punch of hops and a solid malt finish. Definitely malty, very nice malty. A great beer for lovers of big, full flavoured brews. Definitely. 5.8% alcohol volume, too. That makes it 1.7 standard drinks. As I mentioned, it's from Canberra, which is uh, for those overseas, Canberra is in our Australian Capital Territory and Canberra is the capital of Australia. Uh, craft beer. Quite an award winner too. Silver medal at the AIBA Best Traditional IPA in 2021. Uh, gold at American Strong Style Best International Style Pale Ale. Australian International Beer Awards 2018 Gold Medal and the best traditional pale IPA in 2021. Bent Spoke Crankshaft IPA is a really nice beer. I do like my Indian pale owls. That is one of the nicest pale owls that I've had for a long time. Yeah, that's recommended. That's five out of five spanners for me. Terrific beer. Wow. Very nice. Let's get on to today's tools. First tool we have for you is a hand tool and it is from Lyle. Uh, Lyle is an American company from Clorinda, Iowa. Uh, this is made in the USA. Uh, I have a number of Lyle tools uh, and they are very good quality tools. Thank you Americans. This is the Lyle 51900 spot weld chisel. What does a spot weld chisel do? Well, this is particularly useful when you are breaking spot welds on panels or uh, uh, car structures. Obviously you need to drill out the spot weld first and I'm expecting to do this in my retirement. Uh, so when the opportunity arose to buy a Lyle 5 one nine zero zero spot weld chisel I bought it uh, this is from Amazon as are a lot of my tools there is a link in the description to buy this tool this tool was $25.27 delivered from Amazon US uh, Lyle make good quality products um, what is it it's basically tool steel uh, with some sharpened edges, slightly sharpened edges, and a grip. And the way you use it is, once you've drilled your spot welds on a panel, on a vehicle, then you slide the 
uh, I'll put a little, dis a little diagram up here. Uh, you slide the tool in between the two uh, panels that were spot bolded together. Uh, you has a sharp end on the end, so you can actually tap it with a hammer at this end to tap it in, and then you can actually tap it on the sides to break the spot welds along uh, the side here. Um, it's the blade is sharpened on three sides at the top and left and right, so it depends on which way you want to hammer on the side here along to break your spot welds and the uh, sharpened edges will wear with use and they can be resharpened on a grinding wheel obviously you don't want to take too much of the uh, tempering out of the steel so you need to make sure that you keep the the uh, tool cool if you are resharpening the panels are then separated without damage obviously the panel that you drilled the spot weld will have some uh, a spot weld drilled in it um, but this is going to be a very handy addition to my car fabrication collection. Let's talk value for money. $25.27, it's a little expensive for a piece of tool steel. I have, there There are um, on the internet and the interwebs um, descriptions of how you use an old uh, file, grinding down an old file which is tool steel, hardened steel, uh, into the same sort of shape and putting some sort of grip on it to make it more comfortable to hold on to because holding onto a file is really really uncomfortable uh, and you can do it that way but there's a bit of work involved in that cost virtually nil um, so $25.27 value for money is a little bit on the dear side uh, I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five beers for value for money um, it's certainly not something that everyone needs in their toolkit however if you are going to be doing any car restoration projects where you need to break spot welds having one of these is really handy value for money um, they are an awesome bit of kit they work really well and it is a five out of five beers for me easy again I'll put a link down in the description for you to purchase it uh, it doesn't cost you any extra to use that link however Gray's Builds gets just a little bit of a kickback if you do choose to purchase through that link. Thank you. Second tool of the week is a 3M product, also from Amazon. This is the 3M WorkTunes Connect Hearing Protection with Bluetooth Technology. Bluetooth Technology. It is 5.8% alcohol. Right, um, how often are you working in the shed, working out in the yard, for me, the ride-on mower? I um, have to have my phone with me, obviously, for connectivity, because we're not allowed to be disconnected nowadays, but you need hearing protection. Uh, these have a noise reduction rating of 24 dB, yet Bluetooth connect to your phone. So when you're cruising along on your ride on mower, on your acreage in Tasmania where the grass grows really, really fast because it rains so much, uh, having a set of Bluetooth um, hearing protection is a really handy thing. Somebody rings me, I can still answer the call. They do have microphones in them as well. All right. Rightio, so what do you get in the box? Tunes manual. You need charging cable with USB, micro USB, not USB C. Come on, 3M. These are going to have to be plugged in and out all the time. And these, we've already talked about these. They're tiny. USB C would be much better. And very nicely, as you'd expect from 3M, uh, nicely made set of. Uh, earmuffs or hearing protection. Okay, a little bit about them. Uh, so as I mentioned, they are Bluetooth connected to your phone or whatever. Um, and they do have an inbuilt microphone so that you can take and answer calls on the uh, on the run. 
and they have, most importantly, they have a uh, noise reduction rating or an NRR of 29 dB or higher when worn, when worn properly. Uh, they're equipped with uh, 40 millimeter high fidelity speakers for premium quality sound. The sound isn't as good as a good quality set of noise reduction headphones. Um, uh, that's for sure. But they are not designed, um, sorry, active noise reduction headphones, um, such as you use on aircraft and things like that. These are for loud environments. Uh, you could wear them on a plane, but they look a little bit um, industrial for uh, being on an aircraft. Uh, they're predominantly designed for uh, me, uh, someone who works in a noisy workshop or ride on mower or whatever else like that. Uh, they have an easy to use one button interface, just one button on the side of the headphones here and everything is done through that. Uh, typical for 3M, they have, it has a comfortable headband which has um, uh, padding in the top here and uh, they are actually very comfortable to wear. Uh, I have worn uh, hearing protection uh, in my work for 36 years, um, probably not so much the last few years being in the office environment but um, good quality hearing protection is really important when working on aircraft. Um, obviously being um, Bluetooth, we wouldn't be allowed to use these on the aircraft flight line, but uh, yeah, uh, perfect for what I'm going to be using. A as I mentioned, my biggest use for them is going to be on a ride on mower, um, but I get, dare say that they'll be in my shed and hooked up to my phone, music, whatever, and, uh, and if somebody needs to call me, they can. Um, the headphones also come with uh, audio assist technology which uh, helps you set them up and uh, operational guidance without removing the headset and um, they do also have a 3.5mm jack for non bluetooth uh, equipment that would be a pain in the neck having a cable hanging off them so ideally th um, a bluetooth environment or bluetooth use would be best and as I mentioned, there's your charging port, uh, which is the USB, micro USB port there. Uh, does not tell me anything about their IP rating, so I assume that they are not designed uh, for certainly wet environments. Let me just go to specifications. No, no mention of IP rating. Um, having said that, um, one button, two little ports, they'd be fine in a dusty environment I would say, um, but probably not out in the rain so much. That'd probably be okay. So, um, the 3M work tunes. The 3M work tunes are available on Amazon and as I mentioned I'll put a link down in the description for you to purchase. Uh, and that assists the channel a little bit but does not cost you any more than what they would be uh, if you purchased from Amazon normally. Uh, they cost $69.19 delivered in Australia. They do come from uh, Amazon US uh, so they will take a little bit longer to get here. Um, that is uh, a really good price. I have checked that against some of the other tool supply companies uh, around the place and they're usually $80, $80 plus. So $69.19 is a very good price. Um, I highly recommend them. Um, let's talk about value for money. $69, it's an expensive set of earmuffs. However, to have Bluetooth connectivity is particularly handy, uh, especially depending on the top workshop environment. And as I mentioned, being out on the ride on mower, being contactable, etc., is very handy. So uh, value for money, if you're comparing it to non-Bluetooth, headphones, uh, they're a little dear, um, but for what they do and the amount of noise reduction rating that they have, uh, I think they're actually very good value at $69. Uh, I'm going to give them a 4 out of 5 beers for uh, value. For functionality, as I mentioned, the uh, sound quality is not as good as a set of JBL uh, active noise reduction headset or um, Sony or something like that they're not competing with that market. These are a proper noise reduction 
physical noise reduction headset um, designed for noisy environments and they happen to have Bluetooth connectivity which is a bonus as far as I'm concerned. Um, so therefore functionality I'm going to give them a 4 out of 5 um, actually no make that a four and a half out of five because they do exactly what they're meant to do they're comfortable uh, and they work well anyway I recommend them anyway that's it for this week hope you enjoyed this week's Frybat uh, please like share and subscribe all the usual things thanks for stopping by and having a beer with me on a Friday uh, hope you have a great weekend see you next Friday